Looking good, looking good. Awesome. Welcome back, everyone, to the channel. My name's Twice, and today we will be continuing on Boy, I really wish they were able to like practice outside still. Doesn't look like they really anybody will be outside any oh, just kidding, they still will be. Corruption just makes everything look worse. Yeah, my name's Twice. Uh today we'll be working What is going on with these animations? Am I like jumping through phases of it? Whatever. Never the ones to forget to we'll be continuing on through Children of Morta. I don't know if we'll finish it today, but I think we'll get a lot closer. Uh, last time we left off, we slammed our way through all three of the dungeons of the second area. And then, uh, you know, John decided, hey, maybe I don't kill my almost unborn, my, my very nearly born child for... Uh, a really pissed off god especially when his name is Ooh. Was not defending their home more important than saving Ooh. yet another spirit doesn't really Was strike the terror you know to defeat all many questions remain without answers and we got ourselves mostly around level 12 to 14 now 14 is the next breakpoint for uh family perks and then uh, One who could answer more 20 is the max. The industrial district of Terra like, honestly, and it seems like there's only two dungeons here. No time for I might respect some of these the goobers once we actually get to... And Sarava's chamber resided. Um... Once we actually get to level 20, but that, that's even if we do. It'll be close. Depends on how hard these next couple of chapters are. You know, good old evening to you, pirate. How are you? Don't mind me. Just chowing down on some starbursts because I'm disgusting. Figure what better character to work with through a dungeon first than the biggest and bulkiest of them. You know, if we just hit stun literally everyone, we'll never have to worry about this. That'd be great. What is this? It's just a... Okay, it's kind of an AoE thing, but no actual damage, so... this thing even do? I do not understand. Ah, we have figured it out. I feel like the dungeons are definitely going, especially if there's only two on this floor, we're gonna get pretty hefty, you'd imagine. Like, area-wise. Let's explore everywhere we can, though, for sure. It's important. Find different people to save, side quests, all of that good stuff. Alright, hope your day was good. 
I myself had it pretty okay one night. For once. It's literally just a never-ending supply of fun there. Alright, gotcha. I had a big presentation at work and it went well, so... Cannot complain too much about that. Though definitely the worst part about it is, like... Not actually being able to see people's reactions to, like, things you say. Because I, myself, play off uh, a lot of... Oh, God. A lot of the either boring or weird aspects of my uh, presentations with jokes. And I can't tell how those jokes land. It's the worst. That was really close. Oh, you guys just do that much damage now, huh? Okay. 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 Mark, okay. That doesn't look great. <laughs> the corruption seemed different. A little more cosmic but in what nature. Has it changed? Huh? It's not clear. Are you are you kidding me? Because it looks it real changed. bad. And the mountain god's answer was coming. Alright. Looks good. God, it's just like cover the house and everything too. A new trouble is surely on the way. No. Yeah. Or I guess the corruption's not too bad if they let people outside still. It just looks terrible. We didn't unlock anything there. There's no point. Let's just go back in. Probably with Joey again. Because that felt bad. I don't know if we'll get something that feels good. But we need it. At the very least. 103 for the industrial district. Three floors. Which we've already learned doesn't really mean too much, so. You know, meh. Yeah, as long as we're facing these bots, it's fine, but the corrupted goobers that decide to. Two skill points accidentally charged this the secret up pretty neat doing great work there
gave us perma fire. I don't think I have much of a right to complain about. Morning, Val. Good to see you. How are you? Actually, maybe let's go back, because we're finding a lot more in this area than I thought we would. Oh boy. Stay away from the lasers, perfect. What do we got? Primary attacks have a chance to push enemies back to a distance perfect for forceful evasion. You reset the bar. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Here's a good obelisk, at least, for our big boy. Skills, we got two skill points. Let's dump them both into probably the whirlwind, because right now it's just bad. It's not good. Bleh. Not, not at all functional. I feel like we've all had those days. Oh, nice. Found the, uh, the end of the line here. Hello? Oh, I thought it wasn't letting me in. Create shards of ice that explode to freeze enemies around them. Alright. I'll deal with that. See, I have a word for those days. And it's called Thursdays. Blah. All right, still got quite a bit probably to explore. Maybe not, but it feels like the answer is yes. Okay, more gold, more gold, good. We'll hold. There's also a nice health potion here. Honestly, kind of just want to see if there's a lot left here or a little. sizable so let's make sure we take there all right 13 one more and we'll get the next perk which is kind of our goal thirsty and retired and thought process booting up i get it i have days where my arm my right arms just decided that i slept on a nerve just a little funny and then like it's just excruciating all day Getting old stinks, and I'm not even old. Now, at least we got the shield off of that, but. Out of view. Got the ice shards. I wonder how long those ice shards actually proc for. Fine. Anything left to you? Yep. Sure is. Being caged by the corruption. Ooh, new vendor. Sure. Being Sounds good to surrounded me. by the magma created additionally intimidating conditions.
too. I'm kind of saving the rage for a hopeful wave three. If I have to hold, though, I will. Level 14 there. Super big. Okay. I'm just, yeah, certain that there's gonna be a wave three here. Oh boy. For some reason, I thought that made us invulnerable, and it obviously does not. That's unfortunate. I messed that up because I thought that was Mark's. That's dumb. On my part. Not on the games. You must old, still fired as fuck. Also, my roof has a thousand, just thousands of liters of snow. Nothing but If that melts, I'll be drowning. Soap. Yeah. Maybe they had to go deeper to reach water. My, uh, my dad has a barn. It occurred and, to them. Uh, that the old digging equipment may be of use. One winter he decided that he wanted to put an aluminum roof on it for, you know, reasons or whatever. Um, aesthetics. Mm. And, ooh, what the heck is this? Oof. Come back to sleep. She was some deep ass lore right here me. going on. Anyways, um, during the winter, because you know we live where it snows. Shocker. I'm always wearing a jacket. I feel like we could have figured this out. Um, it slides off at the first hint of a non-freezing temperature, because as soon as it heats up the metal, like heats up first so the bottom of the like slab of snow it's also slatted so like it's got just columns like a racetrack right and as soon as it started melting just would slide off in a heap and it would he had like pretty valuable <laughs> like antique gas station like tanks on display just started pounding them with snow and if you ever left uh your car anywhere near there it would dent things or break things and to top it all off um it would slam down and then freeze like a gigantic fuck you speed bump from mother nature so to get in and out of the barn there's like it got up to about like yeah, this much can you i'm trying to like show in my hand it, it's a lot it like a foot he didn't plan this out very effectively he had to put like another awning over it it was not the prettiest of things hello to you kamikaze it's good to see you how are you sword planning it's my dad <laughs> It was entertaining to watch. But, uh, oof. Divine Smite Rooms. Okay. Who's next? A pen? Alright. Yeah. Looking for the stream during the weekend, didn't do one. Yeah. So I was either gonna do one or I was gonna set some stuff up. I have a second monitor now to my right. And I have a controller now so that I don't break my hands trying to play controller only games. It was gonna be one or the other and the monitor came early. So I spent some time setting it up. 
man, it's helping out a lot already. Yeah, I mean, didn't do it didn't do one this weekend. Um, I would have announced it on Discord first, but um, I think we'll do one this weekend. I'm pretty sh I'm pretty confident in that. Oops, we did not get that quick enough, did we? You have flat roofing at the same level as you are. Okay, that definitely feel. That's got a different feel. Still looks pretty cool. Well, you're not wrong, game. The look is good. The amount of time we had to <laughs> fix things that broke, not so good. <laughs> And the amount of time I had to, like, chisel away at these icy uh, speed bumps. Mm -mm. Not great. Don't seem seen this character? Yeah, it's... I, I looked it up after we got them because they're, like, a seventh character, and that seemed weird. Um, it's... Wow, we do not control these guys very well at all. Um, it's a DLC character that they added on for free. And that's where the snow is on the... the Understandable. They're mid range and we haven't really figured them out yet. Excuse me. But we'll get there. How was your weekend, Kamikaze? And yours, Gabe. I kind of know about yours, but. Significantly increases luck. Okay. Good to see all of you. Fuck. We need to get health before we try to attempt that. There's no way we can uh, handle that otherwise. Oh, of course that hit. Weekend was good. Looks like a mid-range AoE crowd control fighter. Yeah, they had a couple long range, they had a lot of short range, and this one kind of fills a, a niche they didn't have filled before. Oh, fuck. We're, we're probably fucked here. Does not look good. Oh boy. Explode upon death. All right. Podcast is on YouTube now. Neat. Nice. That is exciting. That was a good podcast to listen to. I made a way through crime and punishment. Now I'm on to way of kings that works. You're good. Ah, uh, working your way through the uh, the Branderson, the Brandersander. Blander books. The Stormlight Arc. Oh, it's just so much book. Okay. Guess what it is there. Yeah, honestly, just need more health before we try to attempt the, uh, the horde mode up there to save whatever the third NPC is. Mm, that helps. Yeah, basically, she slows with a lot of um, her abilities. Her left and right click both... Or, sorry, her evade and her right click both slow. And um, she does more damage to slowed enemies. And then her left shift does this, but... In, until we find, like, some way of protecting ourselves... 
It doesn't seem like it. It's like super worth, honestly. I unlocked Mark yesterday. Well, I've heard that Mark's pretty cool guy, so drown out. Unironically, probably favorite or second favorite character. called taste. Do I get you for the rest of the... <gasps> oh man. Might actually be able to do something here. With my invincible co-op mage friend. Like that. That's unstoppable. Yeah, no, we should actually, as long as she follows us out of this room... Fuck. No. We're blocked. Damn. I was gonna, I was gonna use her <laughs> on the horde mode. Oh well. gonna take the damage here. Oh, that was close to not being good. We're also... I wish we could shut these off. It's really annoying that we can't. Very nice. There we go. Gabe, thank you so much for the subscription. 15 heckin' months. It's way too long. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Except for me dying there. I didn't appreciate that. But that, that's, that one's on me. This is fine. Honestly, we might go back um, to the second dungeons and just uh, grind up a little. Mm -mm -mm. Mom finally pop out her kid? Yes, there was a huge thing with her. She got kidnapped while pregnant by the corruption. We had to fight back um, through the forest to get her. And then the angry god ooh, wanted the baby. And we decided, well, then we brought her all the way down and then said, psych. But the dad was definitely thinking about sacrificing their child. But we didn't. And I guess that's the important thing. Of course, sorry, so you're just distracting cause general mayhem? Well, that's what we like here on the channel. No doubt about it. Uh, dodge chance honestly seems like a good upgrade. I get hit a lot. Um, and with that, maybe crit chance. Yeah. Sounds good, sounds good. I don't know how far we got. What level did we get with you? 13. That's rough. Um, Narrow that. It costs one. That leaves us with three more. Make the damage more. Ah, the glyph also healing her is what we need for that to actually be viable, I think. Um, yeah, maybe we go back into, we still need to find more stones in Barahoot, so. Now I just got to figure out which of the three was the easiest. I, honestly, the ruins were probably the easiest one to get through, so let's try Kevin again. Don't like Kevin, but getting him to 14 means we can ignore him again for a while. The master of the face tank meta, that's us. 
Why dodge if you have the health? Health is just a resource until it runs out, and then you, you lose the entire game. Oh, one second. There we go. That'll help a lot. Much, much better there. Now that's an MTG uh, philosophy. I ever heard one. Yeah, I I really like trading card games like that. I just have never gotten damage increase, decreased range. That's fine. Um, I just never was able to like be good enough at it. If that makes sense. I played a decent amount of MTG Arena when it came online because it was accessible. But I was always into Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid because you know I liked shiny, stupid cartoons. <laughs> That's the only reason. Is there another monster in here just chilling out? Totally is. Get out of here. Alright. I play like Legends of Runeterra and like Shadowverse and Hearthstone and some of MTG Arena. It's true though. It's just a resource. It's a philosophy that works sometimes. <laughs> okay, hit that, hit that, there, there. All right, your time isn't bad for that, considering it's just a complete guess. What do we got? Heal a portion of your life once in a while. All right. Honestly, it's just going to be a lot of getting the right or the max amount of upgrades here and getting everyone up to a level that seems more appropriate. Okay, we'll take the instant kill, I suppose. <laughs> um... Because stuff like that magic glyph on, on Aton just doesn't really work. This isn't a game you really want to stand still very often, even though when you see me playing, that's most of what I do. Face tank. Um, the glyph doesn't do enough damage to um, counter the negatives, basically. So... If it heals, though, that might change. Depends on how much it heals. Like, if it heals back a portion of the damage dealt, that'd be cool. Or, um... Something similar would be great, but... Otherwise, yeah. I think we should probably use our rage a little bit more often. It's short and sweet, so. Hmm. Slam all around us, or. Nope, just right on top of us. phone is ringing, I think. Yeah. I kept it on vibrate in case anything happened that was serious. It was not serious. I'm now going to move it down here, where I can still see it, but it doesn't vibrate the entire <laughs> table. <laughs> Gemstone chests are interesting, but 
pretty much always save the gemstones now for the shop. There's no point otherwise. Anything here? Nope. All out. All right. Nah. Don't need to fight that. Oh, wait. Maybe we do. Luxor Morph. Head back down. Well, with the hesitation of dying to said boss, I don't think this boss is very hard, which is why we chose this one. So we can get through it, we get extra experience. Big if there. Alright, let's pop both of those. Perfect. See if we can get to six and get two upgrades from the shop. Alright. So this electric bolts just randomly emanate from me. No pool parties anymore for our poor Kevin. Frenzy attack, or frenzy effect also increases damage and attack speed now. Very nice. Good AoE damage. Good honest AoE damage. None of that none of that newfangled single target damage. like this might be the right way to go, which is terrible. I hate that. Or maybe it just connects here. I'm not sure. Alright, alright. Keep the, uh, the frenzy going. If we can. Yep. That rune's super powerful if you can actually get it. Oh, okay. There's no there's no connection. That's a wall. Cool. Neat. Awesome. That looks like boss symbol right there. Yep. Let's activate that. Cool. We'll warp back here. After. Sinister will be appearing soon. Something more. Have they only been quicker? More sinister than that, huh? Ferocious enemies do reduce damage. Yeah, 
we're gonna need that right now. That did help. Cover a small amount of health after execute attacks. Alright. Not the best rune, but hey, it's free, so can't complain too much. Nice. Alright, that gets us up to 14. Um, execute damage, now can do an extra 100%, uh, and our dodge chance can go up again. This gives us Spirit of the Family. Kevin appears when his family members are hit by a ferocious enemy to perform his execute three minute cooldown. Nice. Not bad. Good enough. That's a full heal right there, so... Makes me a lot less worried going into this boss fight. Lucy summons a cyclone upon activating a fan of knives. Alright, alright. I like these runes that add in different abilities from your, uh, your family thing. Very interesting. Well, we got up to seven gemstones, so we're okay. What do you have for me, Mr. Shopkeep? Oh, we didn't find any of the stones. That's a shame. Increased critical hit chance. Yep. Uh, two magical stones spiral outward from us and damage enemies. Next two received hits are ignored. Yeah, sure. Let's keep on using that. We'll buy this for no reason. Oh, we, we're not even allowed to buy it. That's a new one. I knew we had full health, but I thought it would still let us do it. Oh, right. We need to get an extra gemstone from you. Alright, you're mended, and we're out of here. I guess let's go fight the boss again. I was hoping this would progress the side quest, but... No stones. We must have left some stone unturned. That's the problem. Alright, creepy blight tree. Away we go. Yeah, we just, we attack so fast, it's gross. Not that bad. Kind of gross. <laughs> Let's go. I'm upset we didn't find any of the stones we needed. But hey, got another one to 14. And some good upgrade materials, too. Anything new? Nothing crazy, at least. Um, get another upgrade through this. Still have a thousand. Hmm, rage gain rate. 
These are all so expensive. Let's make the crit damage do a little bit more. Maybe another one in Barahu? 14, 14, 13, 13, 13, 14, 12. Let's do one more run here. Just get some upgrades before we go back into the uh, the spooky, scary third industrial dungeon. still isn't working. Okay. Forgot how long of a cooldown that is. Well, something, but I get the feeling it's not the, the guy we want. It's just uh, some treasure. We shall see. Yep. Which I think that'll just be two ways instead of three, so that's something at least. Always wave threes now, huh? hiding in the shadows and that weird creepy face still unnerving but not exactly what you want to see but we'll see what we can do either way I feel like we keep on getting caught on the, the level geometry. work with. Alright. Honestly, I was kind of hoping to knock them into that explosive plant and that it would trigger for some reason. I don't know what my thoughts were that led me to that ugly logic, but not quite as effective as I was imagining. Just 
not let people do that. <laughs> what is this? Cyclone after Swirling Staff. That kind of works as a zone protection after we try to knock everyone out of our zone. Because only we can be in our zone. More than one, too. It's nice. That's actually really powerful. Because it has the same exact um, properties of the Cyclone, where it sucks them in. It's very good crowd control. It really helps what we really need in this build, which is eh, a way to knock people out of our area. While still doing damage. The well, staff is great, but it does not do a lot. It's like a momentary reprieve, but we usually need to be in the thick of things anyways. Portion of our health into a health potion charm. We don't have enough health to give ourselves a health potion charm. <laughs> That's not good. Um, we're at 12 right now, so we need... Oh. I think we were just going to save up to 2 because we're at 12 now. Spending this here means we'd have to wait till theoretically skill level 15 to get 14's bonuses. Something more sinister will Burk. be appearing soon. Not allowed. Oh. All right. Broke that up for once. That's the first time in a long time we've actually been able to effectively do that. What is up here? Stuff. Good to know. Um, or we could change the rage to be stronger. Or the stun on the whip. Let's upgrade that. Have your back. Always available to help Mark appears when a family member reaches a high hit count to assist with his scourging whip. Three minute cooldown. Yeah, so these have both been either adding runes to our options or... Our family members come to our aid under certain circumstances. Which is fine, but it's definitely not powering us up. It might help us get further in a dungeon, but when it comes to tough enemies, it does not help nearly as much as I would like. Hmm. That's a new one. Duck out of there, and then bam. Nice, very nice. Chance for enemies to explode on death. You like to see it. Feels like the only one we've seen show up, though, has been Apon. You know, the shield, whenever we get damaged by traps. Maybe it's just because we get damaged by a lot of traps. <laughs> In which case, that might be a genius move by me. Or maybe the appearance rates are just really low. I don't know. Don't know just yet. Like that. Heal up, heal up. Fine, let's go do this first, see what happens. That time knocking him into there worked. There's a whole minefield. Who designed you guys and why? Who hurt this room designer? Yeah, get him. Yeah. Chunk. 
All right, we saved a goblin family. No worries, Val. No worries. Release a massive pulse pushing enemies away from you. Well, not great. Damn, we didn't get the uh, we didn't get a stone either. It kind of stinks. Oh well. Not get a really good relic either. Oville. Wasn't just for that. Chamber of the Divine. And the reward. Right. Nice little DPS upgrade there. Nothing more. Honestly, one of our jump stones is going to mending this rune that's attached to the uh, the knockback. The cyclones are really helpful and like pretty good, pretty good deeps, pretty good deeps. And we've got a health charm attached as well, so that is nice. Like one of these family's abilities is definitely like. If you get surrounded, three minute cooldown, he comes and slams people with his gigantic hammer. Like, I think that's Joey's whole shtick. I haven't seen it. Plus, he's really tiny. Maybe small hammer. I don't know. Grab you. Hopefully, get a health potion. Okay, nothing's in there at all. Okay, that's the shop. Touch. And I guess let's hope that there's still a room in here that uh, gives us another stone for upgrades. Well, it might. Or it's just more uh, documents. New codex entry. Legend of the Frozen. The story of the Frost Warden was a tale told to me by my father to keep me from straying too far into the ice caverns as a child. The Warden had been created by the Frozen God to watch over its labyrinthine caves. As a boy, of course, I did not believe a word to, of it. To a child, the entire story sounded absurd. That is, however, until the day I stumbled upon our particularly large concentration of crystals within a particularly hidden cave. Notice the especially beautiful patch of light blue crystals and decided to begin my harvest there, but as I approached them, my entire body became still. Lying before me was the lifeless body of the Frost Warden in all its magnificence, hardly recognizable beneath the growth like crystals. Protruding from what I believe was its chest was a large lump of earth and stone, larger, luminescent crystals jutting out from within its heart. Almost instinctively, I began to reach for it, but as my hands drew closer, I realized it was not mine to have. Something inside me told my father would have wanted it that way, and so I left the Guardian to forever watch over his domain. Hmm. Intriguing. We're definitely going to hit the next level. Oh, yeah. Did my shift get cancelled or something? Weird. Oh, full heal now, too. And it looks like more of this area is still going. I suppose that's good odds for what we want. Maybe.
Nothing crazy there. Oh my gosh, but there's just so much more to this area compared to the last time we went through this. Hmm, that dungeon needs more blood on it. Or sorry, that secret needs more blood on it, I should say. Please follow, 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 follow. Electric bolts again. The classic. Alright, gotta make sure not to overuse the room. Don't tell me that's it. Wow. Still no... Still nothing. That is a shame. I'll never get that side quest done. It sounded like it was going to be pretty interesting, too. Alright, let's grab this heal. Let's punch some folks. As you do. A little bit of shield, too. Wrong way. Okay, we want to mend you for sure. The Stargazer should always have a free gem for us as well. What do we got? Chance to throw an axe while attacking. Cool. I haven't had that one before. Uh, next five hits received are ignored. Increase maximum health. I guess a temporary shield explodes. Yeah, alright. Happy with that. Got a good barrier built up as well. on collecting the morph. Pet the dog. You know, for good luck. Not that bad. Not that hard. Out of here. Alright. I think we're good. We'll upgrade, and then we'll go back to the uh, the new dungeon. Obviously, the game does not want me to complete that uh, stone side quest. Or it's in... The other stones are here. In the third dungeon? Who knows? We will find out shortly. Wait, is that the baby already? Wow. We really do be time skipping like that, huh? Riker is his name. Oh, I think we knew that already. Alright, upgrade you. Then what? Then what? Then what? Um, dodge chance for the face tank strategy. 
There we go. Alright, back to the industrial district. Who did we upgrade there? We upgraded Mark, right? But he still could. Leap into the air, fracture the ground. Damage is done any nearby enemies. Deal additional damage to any of Mark's enemies suffering from negative effects. I mean, we don't give any negative effects, though, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, it's upgrade vault. Um, but let's uh, let's range into tank and spank because try and get everyone to fourteen at least. Get those family perks up flowing. So what do I got with you? We take damage when we're blocked by the shield. We can shield slam now. Our stamina's up. We have a chance to crit strike with our right click sword ability. Our rage makes us invulnerable and deal extra damage to people who attack us. And our armor's big. Big. Though we're going to need at least two skill points because we did the thing wrong upgrade into that so it'll be an event for sure Basically, primary attacks have a chance to make our next heaven start critical, but it's only a short period of time, so you can't just, like, stock it up. Which is kind of what I was trying to do, but I had forgotten. Honestly, as long as we don't run into too many of those machines that, uh, you know, consistently throw missiles at us. We're, we'll be okay. Increase that rage generation. There's 14. One more to get the next of our perks for the fam. I assume it'll just be, like, another family member, aka, you know, boy John um, jumping in, right? John appears to shield any attack that would cause fatal damage. Three minute cooldown. Well, I hope that actually procs, because if so, that would actually be nice and powerful. Because we die a lot. And also, it's kind of just to get out of jail free card. Which is handy to have in this game. No doubt about it. Steps were taken no! without regret, for it was never I have many possible regrets to change a destiny. Talking unknown. shit about this game. Bring back the weird pong game. It was much better. Fuck. I feel like we're doing okay in that, but like definitely just the average, which is expected. It's a completely random chance. But I felt so good when we were like three for three on him. I was sure that my luck would never change, and it would just stay consistently good. Okay, next area is there. That's fine. Have we even gotten to a second floor yet? No, we haven't, right? Because we keep on dying in the events that they keep throwing at us. 
Oh well. Ooh, a primary attack. Chance to release Mark's Guardian Fist. That's pretty nice. That's pretty handy. If I remember correctly, that one, you hit them, and then the Guardian Fist bounces them back, so they kind of stay consistently in your attack range. Oof, that was close. At least your luck isn't so bad that you had a 96% chance to get an item you need, but then you don't even get it. <laughs> that, that, number's, that number's far too specific <laughs> to not be a very, very salty pointed comment. <laughs> that reads like you've, you've remembered exactly what percentage you needed. I think the best part about that that reset to that XCOM luck, yeah. Don't we know it? I am so happy we managed to just get through the regular game. <laughs> I guess for the chosen also. <laughs> but oh, oh man, need a break from turn-based strategy. It's gonna be the death of me. Long war. <laughs> Please. Show some mercy. For your wait. This isn't even the this isn't even the blacksmith. I've been lied to. Or whoever it was. I see oh wait. Blacksmith wouldn't make sense. Or, actually I don't have no idea who it would be. We already have a shot. I mean, if we're going just traditional RPG tropes, I guess it would be a blacksmith, but I don't know what they would do, like, temporarily increase our attack power in the dungeon. That's the best I can think of. Alright, that's 15, right? Yep, okay. Um, stamina up. Chance up. Damage on the Heavenly Strike up. What's this next one? So, we can charge forward with a shield, or we deal additional damage to enemies who are near death. Like an Execute! It's pretty neat. And yeah, Father's Protection is now a thing. You want to see your queen? I don't. <laughs> I'm already just counting my blessings we didn't get any of our <laughs> regular characters get turned into chrysalids with the poison. Just some poor regular souls. Who cares about them? Or nothing. Oh boy. Alright. Invulnerability, thorn damage, let's go. don't like whatever this thing is, so. Okay. Stun. That's good. Alright. Just have a few of these left. Do, 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 do. Big beefy boy down. 50 HP, 12 armor, and spawns chrysalids every turn. Ugh. 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 Chrysalids with their sword arms. God. You may have some numbers wrong. It's disgusting enough. Greatly increased crit chance and damage at a cost of a slow, constant drain of health. That seems like a terrible decision in a dungeon that we don't know. Unless we can find another charm. Ah, yes. 
the identical charm. Gets them every time. Is that it? Yeah, it looks like this has got to be the end of it. Poisons damaged enemies. Appreciate the DPS upgrade. Alright, I actually made it to the second floor. That's good. That is some amount of progress. Not a lot. It's a little bit. Just a little bit. <sighs> the third floor will be real progress, but I'm not sure how that's looking just yet. Got three gemstones, so we got enough. Oh, God damn it. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Stamina's up. There we go. Temporarily become invulnerable. You know, I think I like that one more. Yeah. Crazy, I know. I hope you have some numbers wrong in in my direction, but I, I, I took a long, long, hard look at that mod <laughs> when you first mentioned it, and I'm pretty sure, if anything, it's on the low side. <laughs> Oh, man. God, I don't know if there's anyone as sadistic as fans of turn-based strategy. Like, some of the difficulties in some of those games just boggle it boggles the brain. Like, even in, like, Fire Emblem Three Houses, which is probably a far more, I don't know, casual representation of su such a, a genre. They're like, nah, we need, like, insanity difficulty. Just make it so we can only play the game by just, like, barely surviving, cheesing everything. We're like, okay. Let's give the people what they want. Psychopaths, man. I'm just really hoping that would not touch us. stuff good stuff yeah i figured now that we know that uh oh hey neat now that we know that heaven strike can crit um upping the damage on it is important tara a wanderer from another land thought princess by several she walked with a grace that refused gravity and a kindness that ignored common sense she spent little time in Morta, but scared the mountain with her presence she fed the hungry took in the parentless and cared for the sick both in body and mind Many nicknamed her Nova as her kindness shone brighter than the brightest star. Sadly, she burned bright and only for a short time. On her nightly walk back to her residence, she witnessed a child being robbed of their last piece of bread by a grown man at night point. Tara intervened. Startled, the man turned around, his knife finding its resting place in Tara's chest. Utter shock filled her face as her last piece of bread fell from her unselfish hands. The man fled, but I... I stayed with Tara in her last few moments. Upon the ground and in my arms, she simply pushed a stray hair of mine behind my ear and smiled. She passed quietly and comfortably. Fight it off. Go away. Scary trip. Stop it. Stop. Every time. Alright, new door. Not gonna worry about it for now. Love watching your favorite character be brutally massacred. Masochists, man. It's incredible. It's terrifying. Well, at the very least, that missile does damage to enemies, too. That feels less terrible. Still feels pretty bad, but less terrible. Back when I was playing Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, the advanced version, so the one GBA, I was terrified even with the very small consequences of the fact that no one could die in these battles unless you went to the... Uh, 
the places that didn't have rules. They didn't have judges. I forget what they were called, but they were like these these slums. Where all things were legal. Like, even story things were judged in that game, which I think is really funny. Like, calling a judge for a battle of apocalyptic proportions. We need, we need a ref here? Gotta call this a fair, even fight. Steps were taken without regret, for it was never Not possible again. to change a destiny unknown. Ow. That one even hurt me. That's not fair. It's just me. Alright, we totally got a new skill, didn't we? Additional damage near death. Well, let's give ourselves a... Ooh. Interesting. Shop? Yeah, okay. Go down first. And that was only like, I don't know, 1 in 20 of every story mission was one that actually had consequences. I don't know. I think I'm just, I'm not built for it. And yet, I play them and I really enjoy them. Totem that slows enemies, stun all nearby enemies. Call for the Sword of the Divine that damage those. That's a good purchase, I think. It's a good purchase. And gets us to the, uh... Third floor with a very good chance of getting a second perch, as long as there's a second shot. wonder if there's a mod where you can raise a brood of chrysalids. I feel like if there is, you'd be have better luck looking at, like, the weird spin-off they did. As, like, an appetizer for three. Whatever it's called. Chimera Squad? Chimera Squad sounds right. Because those had, like, aliens as part of it. Wonder... I, I doubt they had a chrysalid alien. They don't seem, like... Vocal. Verbal enough. To, to be part of a team. Seems like a thing you just kind of let loose in a... In a enemy base and see what happens more so than like a, a sectoid or, or a, a mutan even. Give me another gemstone. Enough, good enough. Having strike stuns enemies now. That's pretty good. Hey. That's a pretty good rune that I might want to hold on to, but we use having strike a lot. Let's get the DPS up that we need. Ow, son of a Oh, at least we got the shield. Ooh, what's this? A bonsai from the old realms. Oh, uh, one of the souvenirs. I think that's just our second souvenir we found. each other. There we go. Another skill point, so we can add that to the list. Get that execute going. It feels good. Let's grab this really quick. Become temporarily invisible. Okay. Right. Like the one mission in StarCraft 2, Heart of the Swarm, where you control a brood queen in the spaceship and just build a swarm using the biomass on the ship. Gross. 
and awesome. I really should get into some more RTSs. They just... I get... S <laughs> I fold under pressure like a wet piece of paper towel. <laughs> Turn-based, I can at least think things through. RTSs, I'm just like, oh no. I can't see the enemy, but I'm sure they're doing better than I am. Admittedly, that's usually true. But, uh... Man, some of the stories, like the old... The old good RTSs, like, you know, Warcraft 3, and it's, like, multitudes of campaigns, or... Starcraft 2. Starcraft. I remember using used to play, uh, Age of Empires. I was really bad at it, so I used the cheat code that gave me cars with machine guns on them in the Middle Ages. Probably not kosher if you're trying to do like a competitive match. <laughs> but I found it highly entertaining. God, that took a lot of damage. I feel like the closest thing we've played to an RTS on this channel is like... Uh, Desperados 3 and the uh, the ninja one. The Blades of the Shogun. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. And even then, you could, like, it's a stealth RTS, so you can, like, pause in a lot of sections. There were just certain points where we had to, like, coordinate everyone's attacks or move in a very specific way. But still. Not great. A curious automaton rummaged through a Playing RTSs falls under two categories. You're either a quick rusher or you're a turtle who upgrades everything and builds the army limit and then just steamroll the map. That's not true. I'm the third category where I do something in between and I can I die to both the rushers and the steamrollers, turtles. I do both. Equally well even. Ambidextrously bad. Alright, we got a robot that we need to take care of, is what you're telling me. Oh, hi, enemy. What's left over here? secret here. Enemies! Oh, you're not going anywhere, are you? That's the blacksmith. Come this way. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Good enough? No. Need more. Alright. Alright, game. Come on. Yeah, come this way. Come on. Is that good enough? Is that not on top of it? Very picky, huh? No! Nah, uh, it didn't die on top of it. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, oh, no. Yeah, come on this way. Come on. That's still not good enough? Wild. Sorry, I need you guys to just all follow me, if you could, please. Except for the the goose, the goose, the goose. You guys are not needed. There we go. Got the secret. What is that? Increased primary attack damage at the expense of decreased maximum health. I don't know about that. Honestly, I might use the Invulnerable Charm here if it's to save the... Gosh, dang it. I guess that guy died. <laughs> He's not coming back. We failed to save him, and that's the end of it.
And I guess we've got Involm on our, uh, our Rage Attack, too, so... Lots of options here. Make sure we get rid of him ASAP. Do that. Unfortunately, I had to use our runes here, but that's what it is. Pretty healthy. It should be fine. Probably doesn't also help that most of my experience on RTSs outside of the ones I mentioned have been like watching speedrunners do it, which I mean, <laughs> kind of an unrealistic standard to hold myself to. Unlockable blacksmith slash any other character, are you? Just the chest. Primary attack, small chance to instantly kill the target. Well, I guess better now than at the end of this dungeon one. <laughs> it won't matter. Unless that counts for bosses, in which case, excellent. Um. Yeah, we're at 17 right now. Upgrade one thing to level three, so we need two more of those to get to 20. Anyways, all right. Um, that there... That was attached to the automaton, so... Yeah, I don't know, honestly, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's becoming vulnerable and just tackle this now. That worked out. We used the other charm on the way back. Primary attack releases a wave of magical energy. All right, all right. This is a really long area. Really long. New codex entry, eh? All right. The Fall of Loom. You, O oh brave one, have weathered much to come across what you now set your eyes upon. You must be tired. Alas, I cannot offer you respite out of a telling and a warning. The story is of a young boy, once gentle and kind-hearted, whose family was slain before his eyes, his compassion dying with them. Without a tear, he buried his akin. Leaving everything he knew, he set out to learn the sword. Thieves and criminals as teachers. Only rage lived where his heart once beat. Kept it well fed. The boy became a man, treading the same path of those who wronged him. Why, you ask? I think he fell in love with the horror he witnessed as a boy and wanted to see it again. They called him Loom, for he hung over his prey before finishing them. Oh terrifying take the story to heart and this warning with it seeking power for evil ends will only result in an evil ending good enough good enough all right pretty much found everything there Duck and dodge around you. Wait, no 
wasn't anything here, was there? No. Alright. Um, yeah, so it's either straight down or where the automaton was. I'm wondering if the automaton is like an actual story quest, or not, st like a side story quest. And I, I don't know if there's any way to survive that otherwise. Ugh. Nice. Yes, that is part of the quest then. Regenerate our rage faster. Let's go to the shop first. We have a total of nine heckin' gemstones, which is wild. Panny that stuns enemies, perfect. Full heal at the end of the floor, start of the floor, I mean. And activating Almos will also heal you. Great. Um, we'll do this, we'll get another gemstone out of it, and we'll save this for mending our room nearer to the end of this level. So, let's go try to find this automaton, shall we? I assume that's what this was put here for. This, are we? I'm not gonna be able to hold this room. Probably not. Unless we're really good at blocking or we're done. Alright. Looks like we might be able to hold the very smidge of the room. Oh, there's more room after this. Shaking the small girl, just like any other bully. And a person knows how to deal with We take their lives! Try holding on to this for just a second. Give me a second here. Well, maybe this is the same rune, or it's a better rune. Maybe. With a common foe defeated, the little automaton's trust was earned. Hope they don't kill another child. Fire damage burning enemies over time. Ah, uh, fine. Well, maybe not. I thought there was gonna be more, uh, decay. more Come stuff here. Stale air. Just story, though. The man sat motionless. Machine called out, but the silence would not reply. 
Nothing remained for the little automaton in the hollow room. It was all alone. Well, that sucks. Well, bye! <laughs> no. Time to adopt another child. We already adopted a wolf, so... Getting an automaton here. Seems fine. Increases dodge chance. Wow. Undeserved, but thank you very much, game. Um, we already kind of do poison damage. Let's just get the, the wave of energy and heal that up to full. Or mend it, I suppose. Zoop -a -doop -doop -boom. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can first time this boss. I doubt it. We're pretty bad at that. Any more tiny people to hit? Always need more tiny people to take care of. That's true. Marine attack consumes stamina to deal additional damage. Nah. Actually, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Years continued to crank on in the distance. The city must survive. Okay, we're doing damage, just really not good damage. I assume we gotta, like, lock this on. Here. Come on. Come on. Perfect. Um, that was pretty good for us, honestly. Wow. Why? Do it. Whatever you're thinking of doing, you did it. Ow. Go. Let's do that. Alright, got some invuln. That's good. It's good we have a guy with a lot of survivability and health in this. Because it's most. Ow seems like it's it's mostly a, a tank fight and the stamina wouldn't have come in handy so that's nice honestly I'm just trying to do a little bit more damage there because it feels like we're one cycle away and I want to make sure of that yeah Please. Pretty please shoot the missile. Pretty, pretty, I'm begging, man. I'm begging. Okay, I see you coming. Oh. There we go. That should do it. Now, even more soulless than before. Outline. Wow, rub it this in, Mr. Narrator. Ever existed within the gear. Wow, the new road forward opened with the jewel of life. Racist towards robots. Who'd have thunk? Or I guess a better word is just discriminatory towards robots. <laughs> Even soul more oh, soulless so than before. <laughs> dictated going back and informing the others brutal that's an insult you don't really come back from what can you say that was a long run 
but we found a bonsai tree and we rescued a little robot girl. Very nice. Were they cursed? The more they moved ahead, the more the corruption came forth. No, the ooze just, you know, angry. Blocked from light, everything with us. The Bergsons wondered what dangers could lie ahead still. speak just sat there in silent sorrow and try as they might the family could not console little automaton well really hope that's not the end of that story because that's pretty sad <laughs> resilience upgrade unlocked what else we saved the automaton girl and we got a bonsai tree that i assume yeah got put in mark's house room i guess oof yeah like just not great outside man not great where's the little robot girl that's a regular girl nobody knows Oh, right there. Being very sad. Corruption is spreading near their home. Yeah, so basically when they turn down the gods, like, kind of, I can't say request or offer, uh, command of feed me baby please, it's tasty. Um, they said no, and uh, this is the consequence of it. Also, our grandmother died after beating the absolute tar out of a big old tar monster. And I do mean that, that there was just, oh, she died. And was also convinced that the only way to stop the corruption was to give them, give the god the baby. Upgrade both and decreases the effects of all movement hindering attacks on the Bergsons. Well, we'll do that and that. Life is good. The living room is off center with a main door and it's bothering you. Well, the darkness threatened to overwhelm. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that one out. <laughs> Appreciate it, because now it's bugging me too. Mostly I'm glad you can't really see how badly I hung these posters. You can just see that I hung posters. And you're like, wow, nice posters. Uh, not sure they're even. I don't really care. But I'm still glad you guys can't see it. It's my Free private shame. Of his earthly shackles, Area 30. Sarava still remained a prisoner of his own creation. Area 30, his workshop. It's 21 and away from being any, any good. Two of two. All right, we got John up to 18, because we're crazy. Lucy, Avon. Let's go with Lucy. But first, I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Glad to share with the suffering. That's what we're here for.
Ja, was kool dus hier. Sugar it up. Let's go. I can't help it. When I get candy in, it's just too tempting to smudge. That's why I try not to get so much, because I'm a monster when I do. Perfect perfected a boss with uh, with her yesterday. That felt pretty good. Just literally becomes an artillery mage when she wants to. It's pretty wild. Um let's increase that old explosive fire attack value here all family members are reinforced lucy appearing to summon a decoy upon evading at just the right moment the fire child hmm. critical let's have a chance to summon a small cyclone while in guardian's rage you can ignite there around lucy which does extra damage it's nice uh and then increases the damage and range of the ray of fire while in guardian's range lots of rage not enough regular damage. Too much focused on the, the rage mode, honestly. But we'll make do. We'll make do. I'm gonna attempt to make some candy I read about in Arknights. It's supposed to be super spicy alcoholic candy. I want to know how that goes because it sounds like it could either be great or like a travesty that's banned by Geneva Conventions for Chemical Warfare. <laughs> Angry Munchkin? Oh yeah, no. We've gotten her to a pretty strong point, I think. It's true that her rage ability does feel like kind of underwhelming though. So maybe upgrading it makes it more worthwhile. I don't know. Or should we just dump more abilities into her, like, sidewinders and general? Abilities. Oh boy. I really don't like these walls. They're mean. Just so, so mean.
Hmm. Assuming a rage build is for burst DPS, or a sidewinder build is for constant DPS. Yeah. One would imagine. On the plus side, we've collected like a lot. Oh god, what the heck is that? We've collected a lot of mysterious eggs so we can respect the characters that don't fit what we want. We've kind of been dumping it into everything just to kind of see what works and what doesn't, so. artillery value she's got going for her. It is nice. I only wish... Oh, boy. The, uh, the cyclone sucked people in a little bit more. That's about it. Everything else... Good stuff. Fuck. Alright, not going that way. But I do, too. Especially... Rewards, like, just holding it down longer and longer. Spawns more and more sidewinders to add to the DPS. It's nice. If you can make it work. Well, at least we know. But yeah, some of these characters obviously click more than others, but... There's definitely interesting ways to build all of them. Alright. ourselves a point. Critical hits have a chance to summon a small cyclone. Seems really good for artillery stuff. Like, honestly, we'll probably just toss some in everything still. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we do have the, the critical hit totem. Sidewinders that could. I think the Sidewinders can crit too. I wouldn't be surprised. Could just cause chaos. Which would be delightful. We already have it so that there's like a close to half, or sorry, 50% chance that enemies explode when they die, so it's not bad already. Okay, that's the whole area. Three bowlers fall out of the sky, damaging mortal morta mortars. Someone had too much fun naming that. Let's see what... Don't like this already. Yeah, no, just stand right there. Oh, okay. 
Just keep on doing it. Perfect. Oh god, they're like mechanical floating spiders. It's terrifying. That latch onto your face. Gah. Obelisk of skill. Let's go. At least they're not puppets. Ugh. Or mannequins. Little Nightmares 2 really had to do me like that. Ugh. Called me out in front of the world. This man is terrified of mannequins. Yeah, just stand right there. No, it's perfect. Keep. Yep, you're doing great. Good job. Let's go up first, see what's there. Good news. It's. Enemies touching us will be weakened. Toxic aroma. Also known as take a shower. The skill. The meteors did not hit where I wanted, but on the plus side. Their wall didn't work. So. You know, all spare and love and war and all that good stuff. Nothing there, nothing there. Okay, please have the. Oh boy, the blacksmith. I'm begging you, game. Please. Being caged by Thank you. Maybe we'll actually get it this time. Didn't actually mean to, to target rage here, but I mean. Never make me move from this location, we're good. Fuck. No, I still don't want to move. You can't make me. You guys can't make me. Okay, you finally made me. You put something underneath. Oh boy. Good level up, good level up. Let's. Damage and range. Let's ignite it too. Those critical hits are still really nice. It's a nice addition to our, our long range possibilities. not a thing I can do also. It's either this or that. See, like, that's something we probably just spec out, right? There's not a lot of point until we have enough to fully upgrade everything, or at least fully try out all the skills and figure out what works best for us. The gruff man cracked his fingers and nodded in appreciation. Come find me if you ever feel lucky, he grumbled. I might have something in a bag for you. <laughs> okay, maybe not a blacksmith. <laughs> Just a creepy man. Black Marketeer. Rescued. Pure dungeons available if you wanted a gamble. Poison damage enemies is not a gamble. That's just great. Good job, us. Don't do this to me. Oof. Alright. 
They're actually blocking us off of seeing what's on these doors now, which is smart. so that I can actually focus on the spawner. Oh, there we go. What do we got? Saving people time. Let's go. Yeah, hit them. Hit them all. Keep them from me. Specifically. Doing great, Joey. Doing fantastic. Yeah, focus on him. He's got infinite health. Good stuff. Good stuff. Pretty sure that's. No, it is. It is. I was pretty sure that was one of those newfangled enemies, but. Stun all nearby enemies. Might be good for floor three. Feels like we're closing in on the end of two here. Save some robot monks. Machine again. Interesting. Shoot bolts in random directions. Lots of uh, lots of damage abilities for us to uh, clear out with. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I don't care about that. We've already got everything we need there. Let's go straight down instead. This was a mistake. There we go. Little in bed. Thanks to our double damage relics we've got going on here. Alright. Upgrade the beam amplifying. Her shield's busted. It's, uh... Yeah. Sure is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's real nice. And you can make it doubly as effective pretty easily. Oh, boy. Okay, probably don't stand in the same exact location. There we go. Is that another... Is there another scary one down here? It's like two different colors of orbs. Or lasers, I should say. No, oh, shield makes her go from, like, having to dance a lot to just kind of stand in there and chump them. It is a wide gap. No doubt about it. Stand still for eight seconds, and then bam. That's all you need. Uh, let's rage it up. Since I swear to god, these perks just don't work. <laughs> no one will ever come to my- wow, what an unfortunate... Time to come out of rage there. Right, shopkeeper. Okay, let's finish off this floor first. Go 
got enough to buy a couple good things here. And we've got a nice healthy shield. As well. What's this? Decoy has more health. Sure, why not? Actually, wait just a second. Can we destroy this? Can we destroy the actual, like, one second, one second. No, we can't. It's unstoppable. Good to know. Oh boy. Let's hit both of these. If only she had a way to perfect block damage every 10 seconds. If only. Why can't my character be fully unstoppable with no weaknesses whatsoever? It just... Shit's not fair. It's, that's the only conclusion I can draw. Okay, where's this go? Ah, another one from my, uh, my grandpops. happened to you, Adam. I must make this up to the boys at a later date. As I've turned this vacation into work, perhaps that is what it means to be Bergson. Never off the clock. I gained audience with an ice Rava, but learned little. Upon asking the black substance, a pain looked overcame him, and he demanded I remove myself from his chamber. Anger in his voice for sure, but mixed with sadness, as he said under his breath, only the chosen can defeat him. Before he howled in pain. Oh my gosh. Feel the sorrow in my bones. My bad knee aches from the vibration. Do we ever get closure on Adam? Is the real Why question. I Not again. again. No, I can't Two do it. I've lost. Features. I've lost all my mojo on this. The tiger the dark sea. Mm. You know what? Maybe none of us have mojo. <laughs> More XP. <laughs> you know? Fine. <laughs> and a little more... A little more... more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Ow. Got a full heal there. Pretty good. Pretty good. Still only area two of three, though, so. A lot more to uh, screw up first. Possibly. Mm. Alright. We'll just do that stuns. Right, right, right. Alright, well, let's heal up. Oh no. <laughs> what do you think that can give her fire like piercing damage? I bet one of the runes of the other like family members, because they can be shared, could do it. Temporary aura damages nearby enemies. No, that's fine. Totem's pretty cool, but increased maximum health probably. Small chance to recover health when attacking. Yep, and yep. Yes to all of that, and an extra gemstone for the next floor as well. I mean, all accounts, Adam's probably dead, but... I just want some closure. Even if it's from, like, his death log journal that we find somewhere deeper in here. Tanky Munchkin? Oh yeah. Tanky life stealing munchkin now. We just needed enough more to build up a couple more like upgrades in both health and attack. And then get everyone up to 14 for extra buffs and voila. Life is suddenly good. Oh god. Nah. Nah. 
Oh my gosh. I actually have to try. Ooh. Why couldn't you just hand me the entire game on a silver platter, please? Okay, okay. What's this? Rage regen. Alright. Let's see what we can make out of that. Feeling, I'm feel, feeling pretty confident if we can get to the boss, that will be fine. Kevin emerges from the shadows to strike those who use the decoy, or attack the decoy, I should say. Alright. It's better than having more health, honestly. The health isn't that important for us. Let's just inflict lightning damage upon performing evade. Gazap. Gazap. Can't say no to that. Ooh. That's one fat fucking <laughs> tornado that got stuck where it wasn't supposed to. Alright, let's quick check this area. Cleansing time. She d oh, she got hit at the very end. Brutal. There we go. Do we just get an extra 560 gold? That's disgusting. Temporary shields. Absorbs all damage received. Explodes and expires, dealing the damage back. Yeah, probably... Probably better overall. If we're trying to survive. Cannot hurt. though. I don't know how many more of my uh, characters would have survived all that. Not many, if I'm being honest. Possibly the end here? Yeah. And the shop, right? Cool. Okay. We can get another item if we want to. Let's keep on exploring, though. What's this? Uh, can't actually follow it just yet. Oh, boy. What is this? Increased maximum health, expensive, decreased attack damage. Gross! We're already tanky enough. We don't need to hamstring ourselves. Perfect. Another health potion. Wow. 
for the hero. Oh. This is just this is memory. And memory. And chance. So like take that, it's wrong. Fight. Go with it. Okay, it wasn't that one. Let's try far left. Oh, it's bad, bad start. This one. This one right here. Okay. Then this. Then this. Fuck. Seems like we're always taking three... Three, well, three wrong attempts. Four attempts total, I guess. Okay. Bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There we go. What do you got for me? Companion that stuns enemies. Okay. Honestly, I feel like if there's one thing this game doesn't do super great is like scaling of enemies. Like, sure, there's the, uh, I don't know. The third here, I guess. There's regular yellow and then now there's red as well, but... The amount of... It's gonna hurt a little bit. Equipment you can, like, stack eventually seems to kind of become overwhelming. At least in my opinion. Plus the the runes as well. There we go. What's this? Decoy deals thorn damage reflecting. No, we like the uh, we like Kevin attacking for sure. Still need one more, right? Two more. Wonder if you get better rewards for getting it with less attempts, like Diablo's creature scaling in a sense. Hmm. Very possible. Oh my gosh, so many areas to look at and marvel. That looks bad. It doesn't look good. Jin was created to improve the city. Plugged into the very walls of Terra Lava, it controlled defense and life support, making instant decisions for the betterment of the people. All seeing and controlling AI. There's no way this could possibly go wrong. This is a different bonsai from the old realms. Hey, I controlled city. No, I'm good. You don't like uh, you don't like system shock. <laughs> okay, Bob, right out of that. Are all the souvenirs in this area just different sized bonsai trees? <laughs> They're just really into it. Everyone got super into horticulture in this world. We tried to grow ourselves. A 
better AI. A plant-based AI. But it went horribly wrong. Um, yeah, let's, let's rage it out. There's two big boys here, and... Oh, that rage does so much more! Oh, that's good stuff. That's good. All right, let's warp out. Oh, there's a disease killing people. It's purge. Turn off the oxygen in the most infected area to preserve the rest of the people. Exactly. Oh, this might be a black marketeer instead. Yeah, no shop. Gamble for an item. Oh yeah. I'll gamble the shit out of this. I assume he has a small chance of, like, giving, like, a Divine Grace or Relic, but not a large one. Alright. Uh... Boy, we got a lot of cash on this trip. Let's see if we can fight another boss in our one, one go. <laughs> got Lifesteal, got Shields, got pretty good... Relics, got a good rune on our decoy, got a good dog. It's all good, all good, good news. Ane Zarava, the architect of Terralava, and the creator of Jim, a machine meant to serve the land, not some mother brain, uh, mother brain stuff here. I don't like whatever this is. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I don't like it at all. Do I just have to survive for a bit? I don't know. That doesn't do damage. Maybe we need to use this again? I don't know. We've got the lifesteal, so it's not, like, terrifying or anything. It's just, like... Try to get this locked on right here. There we go. Okay. Unhappy. But if you just let me stand right here. Let's shield. Good. I'm good. I'm good so far. Alright. Never mind. This isn't too bad. <laughs> Let's just rage it up. I'm just gonna take the damage, honestly. It's not worth the loss in DPS. Takes out half his HP, no big deal. I mean, if it's a boss that lets me stand completely still, we're in for a pretty good time. And this boss really lets me stand still. Like, really lets me stand still. <laughs> it's kind of our win condition. And, uh, it just kind of let us. So I, I, I guess we win. became aggressive, the temperature rising as energy returned to the Mighty One and flowed through his veins. Anais Harava, 
was free again. As the spirit gazed upon the family, he felt something different, something unusual. Perhaps this could indeed be the final cycle. Off we go. Another really good run. I haven't gotten anyone to 20 yet, but I mean, we're getting there. The spirit's words took life, forming images to reveal what was hidden from the Bergsons. Excitement filled the empty space. The promise made was now a promise fulfilled. The rock appeared on the horizon and the boundless wonder ended. Journey had met destination. What are, what's going on? And the vagabond son of the heavens became the mountain god. Wait, so he's just like an extraterrestrial? His heart skipped. His mind echoed with music. His breath caught when the daughter of Rhea stole his heart. And carved it with her name, Rhea Dana. Two became a pair, mates. She's a powerful alien, apparently. Who willed to <laughs> elevate Rhea's creatures? Did we just watch a whole game to plug the conspiracy theory that aliens helped the Egyptians create the pyramids? Because that's what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> This is the vibe it's given off. Her wisdom, three I feel like I'm on the History Channel on Ancient Aliens now. Eons. And they lived a thousand years in bliss. Until Rhea Dana bore him a daughter. The mountain god could not stand her as he envied the child. Furious, he raged at Rhea Dana. <laughs> and she left him. Where did his logic he wore go? The grudge as if it were a crown. One made a corruption, <laughs> he lost me cursing guys. the name of Rhea Dana's daughter. How dare you have a he child with me, resentment. your husband? Thus, like I know, like post postpartum post depression's a very real thing, but it's usually for the woman. The <laughs> That's a really, really weak, weak excuse there, ooh. That's uh, that's that's some hella weak. Hey yo, stop paying attention to that child. Give me love. Pity or anger. Just just anger. Shocked, <laughs> not I'm not sure there's much shocked. pity for this guy. The important thing, however, was to break the cycle of evil. He lived in peace for a thousand years. Annoyed? Yeah, I mean it's just like you kidding me? This is this is what you've decided. What a turd. Where'd the other bonsai tree go? There's big bonsai. Where's where's little bonsai? Little bonsai. Little little. I don't know. I don't know where little. Oh, there it is. Hey, little bonsai. 
Dude screwed up the world because he was pissed at the tension his own kid was getting from his mate. After a thousand years! A thousand! Eh, I don't need that. Let's just... One upgrade each. Two upgrades on that. Call it a day. The rest of the upgrades just kind of suck, but they're the same in monetary value. So why not just go for the baselines? You know? 1,000 years of shagging. Only pregnant once. They're very yeah. careful. Final destination Very careful. was on the other side of that gate. The ending was nigh. Yeah, dude screwed up this world because he was pissed at the tension his own kid was getting from his, his wife. Also, he's not even of this world, which is probably the most, most embarrassing thing. Domain of the corrupt deity at the mountain. Is there the really not like a third level to this? Whack. Uh, all right. I mean, I mean, <laughs> she's not fatigued yet. Well, let's just use her. Aloha. What do we got here? Divine Relic. Grants you temporary shields to protect you from a certain amount of damage. Alright. What do you got here? Terror. Thanks. That's invisible, isn't it? It's better than the, the pulse. That, uh, that it, huh? Is that all you got? That's what we're working with. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait, one sec. Let's upgrade. S no, let's just get to level 20 and then get. Add sidewinders, maybe? Or 60% chance to summon a cyclone. Or an extra barrier. Yeah, let's dump an extra barrier in there. It seems good. Why not? More sidewinders means more crits means more cyclones. That's true. If we don't just like kill this turd here, I guess. God himself, but Alfrey of David's love, the darkness has swollen inside him, consuming and uncontainable. Eh. It's just the boss fight that's left. Seems like. I kind of thought this was gonna be a temple. <laughs> My pals. My fam. Uh, I could use a six person there. That'd be cool. gonna suck up this damage for a second here. Oh boy. We also just kind of... We've got to worry about them.
What are you doing? Don't do it. Okay. Just happened. Heavy as I am and difficult to breathe in, the air burned their lungs. Okay. It was pitch black. The light meant protection and hope. And the Bergson had to rescue the others as well. Hold F to revive. Mm -hmm. No, no, that ain't happening just yet. I am, at the very least, we're healing in this. So, at least this phase doesn't seem terrible. Oh boy. Oh, I can shoot while I hold? Oh, that's... OP. OP, OP. Oh, I thought I was... I was gonna have help. But, it doesn't seem like it. Oh boy. Did someone order an auto scroller final boss battle? It was right here. That first part was kind of nasty, though. This part seems kind of trivial. But third phase. Oh, we still have full health. If he still has the same amount of health that we gave him at the end of that, it should be pretty easy. Every day we stream this, we start off really bad, and then we just steamroll through the dungeons at the end of the day. If I didn't know better, I've got... There it was. <sighs> the protection of another light. A flare for the dramatic. Still in danger in the darkness. The rest of the family... I assume Apon is just, like, not going to show up, because, you know, DLC. You know how it be. But I guess we'll see. Am I really gonna already see this game was supposed to last longer too? We're just too fast. Too fast at games. That's okay. I've actually got one lined up. I don't know if I'll save it for Monday and do something else or what. Yet another light, fending off the darkness. For now, time is short, and haste was needed. Here we go. Find the battle was nearing its end. What do we got? What do you got, Grumple Stiltskin? Here, Persons knew that this was the final step. Love they found seared. must this time. prevail over hatred. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we leveled everybody up, guys. <laughs> Family sticks together. <laughs> oh, what a beatdown. Master of all, and master of nothing. That felt pretty good. His greatest fear was made absolute. He was left alone. Left alone to his misery and failure. This narrator the goes hard. Ending cycle of despair <laughs> On the villains. Pain. He wished for its end. 
wish to bathe. Family just beat the tar out of them. Darkness. As they should. Bless him for it. Don't redeem him. He's just a he's a turd. As the wheel had turned back to kindness. Meh. That which was expelled from the heart returned. All the time apart, melting away, along with all the pain, all the sadness, and all the misery. Land met sky, two became one. Love ignited rapture. You hate As happy endings? Happy endings can feel words. good if they're earned. And curiosity How's that? And tangled Hades felt a millennium earned, incoming. for example. Probably the most recent, like, actual happy ending we got. Little Nightmares 2 was not happy ending. <laughs> Crown Trick didn't really have, like, that much story to it. When it's unearned, it feels... Blah. You just as the one that that could just be me and my just absolute extreme pessimism. Persona Five Royal earned over, which they were over like 120 hours. If you're me, a family left exhausted was now more. I like both Persona Five and Persona Five Royals ending. Honestly, a god once stricken with grief was now whole. <laughs> And a land once cast Definitely in chaos is. You're not wrong, Val. Is now left in serene balance. Still have no idea what happened to our grandfather. Who knows? Truly a mystery for the ages. As the story comes to its conclusion, remember this. When the time spent in this land is looked back upon. When daring feats are recited along with victories and defeats, remember that it was not a tale of heroes or villains, nor of good and evil, but one of family. And above all So, else, what next? Great a tale question, as always. Love. Uh, I'm leaning towards never one of forget. two options. It is currently long walk. Stop. <laughs> you chrysalid loving monster. It's what? It's February 23rd. We got. It's not. not End of March is what we're aiming for for Isaac. We're not touching it till then. Which is why we haven't touched it for like six months. We're going to be really rusty. It's going to be great. Um. I'm aiming for either uh, One Step to Eden or Bug Fables. Both have been on my backlog for like six to six months to a year. One of those two is what I've been feeling next. So you either get a Paper Mario Love Letter. That's probably better than a couple of the Paper Marios. Looking at you, Sticker Star. Um, or a Deck building action road light where you can see me fold under pressure so it all depends on what you want to see one step to eden is your vote if it matters it always matters i love opinions on that hey at least our house looks nice again sky god gets dumpstered by an eight-year-old pyromaniac New Game Plus. What does New Game Plus even do? What does it add? Okay, you're just telling me about the bonsai again. <laughs> uh, wow. We did it. Again, another time skip, because that's our child. Just being Dutch. I guess we're just... Everyone lives here now. I doubt there's any post game. New game plus standard for children more time allows players to keep their unlock character skill tree progress and all resources and just a more challenging version of this story. Basically nothing. 
That's most New Game Plus modes, sadly. Like, you'd think... <sighs> like, even Dark Souls New Game Plus is just like, we ratcheted up the damage and their health. That's it. They could, like, add animations or even just mix up enemy placements. Lazy. Feels bad, man. All about Persona New Game Plus. Persona New Game Plus is interesting because you can mess with the social links. Because your social links carry over so you can do a lot of stuff early that you normally wouldn't be able to. Oh, right. Yeah, we didn't get any gold from that. I'm crazy. All right, well, that actually ended on a perfect time for once. We didn't end in awkward halfway through. You want to play Persona 5 for the first time again? There's tons of games that I want to play for the first time. I wish there was a way, you know? Just selectively... Like, the, the pensive from Harry Potter, you can just, like, suck out those memories. Valkyria Chronicles, another great one. That I've never actually finished all the way through. <laughs> I keep on getting part way through it. Never finishing. But I really enjoyed what I played. Games with cool twists that I don't see coming. Probably the first and second game, both were great. I have one, and I also have four. I don't know how that happened. I know how one happened. I bought it. A couple times. I don't remember how I got four, but I, I have it now. At least I think I do. Maybe I don't. Maybe it's on my wish list. Whatever. I used to buy games before I even had the consoles for them. When I was a kid, my parents wouldn't um, get me a video game console that wasn't like a, a game. DSs are up there. Like Game Boy Color, right? And... Uh, but they promised me if I got, like, a certain thing in Scouts that they'd give me, like, a PS3 and a Wii or something. So I would, like, just collect a bunch of used games for those that I knew I'd want to play eventually. So I'd just have, like, you know, Batman, Arkham City, and they'd be like, Oh, you like this game? Like, I don't know. I can't play it, but I own it. I was not a child. There's an anime for Valkyrie Chronicles? There's an anime for a lot of things. There's an anime for The World Ends With You, and that's a DS game that came out, like, 10 years ago. 15 years ago? Not like 10 years ago. Definitely more and more common. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, that has been Children of Morta. Um, we are trending towards playing One Step to Eden on Thursday. Rest in peace, my decision-making skills. Um, yeah, we'll be back at 5 on Thursday, not 6. Thanks, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like, leave a follow. Just come back, hang out any other time you want. Uh, we'll probably stream this weekend as well. Stream a little Persona 4 back in the dealio. So, uh, anyways, thanks so much. See you in there. We'll do. Toodles. Thanks for watching. <laughs>